Good morning. So I'm getting my house ready for my beautiful Christmas party and I thought that I would show you guys. Uh, by the way, this smells so good. I got that from Walmart. Um, I thought I would show you guys a meal plan um, because I'm cooking some dinner in the crock pot and I thought you guys would enjoy it. But I want you guys to take in the beauty of Christmas. Look at all those presents under the tree for the nieces and nephews and family. We've been cookie baking yesterday. Oh, I um, I put my table out for when family comes to dinner on Christmas Eve. I have a really big family party. And so I put out a big table for the kids to sit at. And I just put some houses on it. I borrowed a, a few of the kids' houses from their bedroom. And I just thought that would be a nice little touch to their table. Um, and then what we'll do is we'll pull the table forward a little bit when it's time to eat and we'll put some chairs in the back. And then we move our table over just to eat. And then we put it back so I can have a beautiful Christmas morning. It's awesome. So let me show you guys. Oh, these are the Christmas cookies that we made. I'll show some more in the freezer, but uh, we made all these Christmas cookies and we are super excited. Um, and then we've got a bunch more to make, but this was just for the neighborhood. So yeah. And I just took out my grapes to show you what our fridge on the inside of the house looks like when we're getting ready for the holidays. Not anything like it usually does. Um, so last night we had some, this is homemade pico and we had some shrimp tostadas. And so we just took our shrimp, put on the tostada and put some pico. It was super good. And then we did some green onions as well. And then we had some Mexican rice with it on the side and it was delicious. Um, and then the night before we had some just homemade chicken nuggets with some Brussels sprouts. But all I have in here is the chicken nuggets now. Um, but we had a side of vegetables with it. So that's always two delicious meals that you guys can have that are simple and easy. The most work for the, um, is the Mexican rice and the pico, but really it's not a lot of work. It's just chopping, but it still is a simple and easy meal. And somebody got something on my fridge. Gotta make sure that this doesn't get broke so that if my turkey dethaws, it will be all good. And then the other night I made some meatballs and this is just the leftover meatballs that we had. And we took some of this tortellini that I got from Sam's Club. Oh, sorry, I wasn't showing you. Um, and we cooked this in just some regular pasta sauce that I got at uh, the store. Um, I use ragu, you can use whatever you want. And you just cook this up and then you put it in some warm pasta sauce. It only takes like four minutes to cook. Um, and you can even cook it frozen if you want. Uh, they come not frozen and in a two pack. So one pack fed my family a five. Um, but like I said, I added some meatballs and then we did a, a, a side vegetable as well. And that is a really good dinner to have. Um, it was super fun. I always pair vegetables. So that is my third meal. Look at all those pies and Christmas cookies. Don't worry, this is all gonna get full. We also had some chili um, and we did like uh, chips and chili and we had a big bowl of chili and chips and then um, we had so many chips left over um, that we did taco soup with some chips as well. So those are two really good dinners when you're trying to just throw something in the crock pot. It's something else that was really good about a few nights ago. I took some chicken. I'm trying to show you guys my chicken. It's frozen in here. I thawed it out and I fried it up with some garlic powder, onion powder, salt and pepper. And then I went into my lovely pantry and I pulled out two of these classic Alfredo sauces. And um, once I fried up the chicken and stuff, I cooked up some vegetables and dumped it in with the chicken. And then I poured this Alfredo sauce on top and got some noodles, uh, some fettuccine, ch fettuccine noodles, and it was delicious, such a good meal. And it was like a one pot meal excluding the noodles of course um this is the sauce that i used for that um the noodles and the meatballs by the way in case you're wondering this one's pretty good too it's the walmart brand but uh the ragu is my favorite so whatever whatever you like or you can just make your own finally one last meal to keep you going during the holidays i have a crock pot with some baked potatoes in it um, and all I do is I put a little bit of water at the bottom and then I put oil on the potatoes. I poke them with a knife or a fork and then I put uh, oil on the potatoes with salt and pepper and I just cook it in the crock pot and they come out so good. They're like really good baked potatoes. And then in here I have some pot roast. So I just threw a roast in um, with some onions and some seasonings, whatever you put on your pot roast. Um, sometimes I'll do au jus and brown gravy. Sometimes I'll do other things. Um, and I just let that cook and that is our beautiful dinner for tonight. So I hope that this gives you guys some good ideas for meals. 
Um, you guys, I'm telling you during the holiday season, you need really good ideas when you are cooking food because there's so much holiday cooking. No one has time to actually cook a big meal. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell. And don't forget to get your holiday house ready for all of your family. Bye, guys.